for Blair's Cooking with Qualifers at The Kitchen Canada. Today I'm making an incredible appetizer, especially with the holiday season approaching. I'm making cranberry and port meatballs, turkey meatballs, with a little bit, little cranberry on top. And I'm actually using Trackleman's Cranberry Sauce with Port. Trackleman's is an awesome British company that just deliver, delivers products that are so fresh tasting, big chunks of cranberries, you can definitely taste the port always a plus just a really great product so I have here some uh, bread crumbs here you can use your own your own bread crumbs but I actually just bought some pre-made bread crumbs and I want like a almost like a brown sugar consistency so I just added in just simply an ounce of skin milk now we're gonna take a bowl an egg perfect and we're gonna whisk up this egg Close my garbage up the egg. I'm gonna add in some Parmesan cheese and it calls for two tablespoons but I'm a woman so I'm gonna add in four because I love cheese and I think a lot of ladies do as well so I add this in I'm gonna add in some mustard kind of, so essentially all my uh, wet ingredients I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of this incredible Vlux grainy mustard big tablespoon in there and again I'm gonna whisk it up perfect now I'm gonna grab a pound of lean turkey and I have it here and you just need a pound because you can get a lot of meatballs out of just a pound of turkey so I'm gonna add it in there Whoop, there it goes just slides right in it's a crazy turkey and now we want to work on our dry seasoning so we wanted to make a nice savory and really Herby seasoning. Herby's a word I'm not quite sure. So I have about a tablespoon, a teaspoon and a half of thyme and some cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat. I'm gonna use about a quarter a teaspoon, just a little bit under. Put that right in, in my mortar and pestle. So you really wanna kind of grind those herbs and bind them all together. And some fennel seed, I'm gonna use about a teaspoon my trusty teaspoon. Perfect. And some pepper. Ding. I love these Drogaria grinders. They're awesome. Malden sea salt, my favorite sea salt. I love the crunchiness of it. We're going to cut down a little bit of the crunchiness with two teaspoons of it. And I'm going to put it in my, uh, just about, yeah, about two teaspoons or so. Just like the cheese, I like it salty. And I was gonna take it and just go ahead and grind it up. And not too finely, I just kinda wanna get those herbs all working together. Great. Now I'm gonna add all of this into my big bowl, the, the ground lean turkey. So I'm gonna add in my breadcrumbs. There we go. And I'm gonna add in my herbs. Great. Well, we don't need this anymore. I'm gonna wash my hands. I don't mind they're a little bit wet because I'm gonna be getting them wet anyways. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start binding all of this turkey. So all the flavors kind of are laced through every single meatball. I'm gonna roll this turkey now into little meatballs, about an inch big. And I have a, oh, almost just dropped a meatball. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, I'm gonna throw these into a bowl of flour. And I'm not, I don't want too much flour on them, so I'm kinda just gonna let it, them sit there. About an inch. And then just toss them in a little bit of flour. Perfect. And you're probably going to get almost about 20, I'd say, out of all this turkey. Well, that was fast. And by 20, I actually meant 60. So that's a difference in your recipe. Um, I have a pan here with some oil in it, or you can use vegetable oil. And I actually put these in the, in the uh, refrigerator for about an hour. It keeps them a little bit tougher for when you're actually pan frying, frying them. And I put, this is a big pan, so I can put a lot on here but you don't want to crowd the meatballs. So I've been kind of nudging these meatballs with a fork just to kind of make them brown all the way around. You don't need to cook them all the way through. 
And I'm gonna get another pan here. And I'm just gonna pour these meatballs onto this pan. There we go. Let's go. Come on, Gunny. Okay. Okay, and now I'm gonna start the sauce. And I'm not even gonna bother rinsing out the pan because you don't need to. Um, I have some Trackman's cranberry support sauce and I need a spoon. And I'm just gonna put it right into the pan. And I'm gonna use probably about the whole thing. And you can turn the heat right down Stir this around a bit and it's sizzling just a little bit and since this cranberry sauce with pork is a little bit sweet I want to add some chicken stock for two reasons it's gonna make it a little bit more savory and also I don't want it to reduce down too much where um, there's not enough sauce to share amongst all the little meatballs so I'm gonna stir this up I'm gonna add some pepper and a little bit of Malden sea salt. Just a large pinch. That's great, so it's really, really reduced down. Now I'm gonna put my meatballs in here. Be careful, you don't wanna spot yourself. And I can pretty well go all in at once. Give it a good stir. And if you notice that your uh, sauce has kind of reduced a little bit more than you wanted, you can also add some, a little bit more chicken stock and that will loosen it up like a bit. Those look beautifully covered. I'm gonna now take giant big dried cranberries and these are such high quality cranberries you can get at Qual first. Sometimes at stores are all smushed, not these ones. So I'm gonna take a toothpick, put it through the cranberry, into the meatball and on my serving platter. Done, so easy. And now I just got about 60 more to go. Done, and I still have tons more, which is great because there's lots left over for seconds. Mm. You know what? The cranberries and the savoriness of the turkey meatball, you're gonna love it. And it was so easy to make. You can find all these ingredients all available at Qualifers at qualifers.com. And don't forget to check out this kitchen at www.thekitchencanada.com. Thanks for watching.